Hello, my name is Ryan Fox, aka the Woodwind Fox. I'm a bassoonist and woodwind specialist located in Columbia, South Carolina. Today's video is going to be about the South Carolina Philharmonic's Youth Orchestra Audition. It has four excerpts. One is for the Symphonic Orchestra Audition, and the other three are for the Youth Philharmonic. The first excerpt I'm going to talk about is from Rimsky Korsakov's The Snow Maiden Suite for Orchestra. It's from the fourth movement, it's the very beginning. It's marked pretty fast. Uh, so let's dive right in. So this excerpt is marked pretty fast at 160 beats per minute. Uh, I would recommend not going that fast. It's almost ridiculous to think that that's a required tempo for a youth orchestra, especially for the second tier orchestra. I think the best thing to demonstrate here is control of your technique, the ability to practice, and control of a syncopated rhythm. There are two parts to this excerpt. One is the fast stuff at the beginning around D Dorian, which is just a fancy way of saying C major, but starting on D. And the second part is the sending scale, syncopated all the way down, starting from F into the tonic of C. The best way to prepare this excerpt, especially the first half, is to start slow and allow exponential growth to happen through various rhythms and the breaking down of what is written. First thing I would recommend is to do duple rhythms, kind of pairing two different uh, durations together. I like long short and short long as a paired grouping, whether or not you decide to do dotted eighth sixteenth or sixteenth dotted eighth, or the opposite of the triplet uh, quarter eighth or eighth quarter is up to you. Breaking it down even further, I would go measure by measure, if not beat by beat, and just kind of pair those notes and really get the comfort developed. So here's the very first measure with a duple long short rhythm. You might notice I'm adding one beat. I think it's really important to always add the next downbeat to whatever practice fragment you're working with. I think it helps connect better the whole idea when you start putting the pieces back together. So now that I've done the first way, I'm going to do the inverse of the long short, and now it's going to be short long. Same first measure. Once I do that a couple times, then I'm going to put it back together as a straight rhythm. Another nice thing about this excerpt is to recognize all the patterns. The first measure is exactly the same as the second measure. Bars three and four are the same as five and six, and seven and eight. So now that I've gotten the first measure down, I know I have the second measure down. And so all I need to do now is just practice developing that consistency over both bars. So first I'll go back and do the duple rhythm, long, short, long, short. Then I'll do the inverse and then I'll piece it back together. Here are the first two bars. kind of comfortable. Next thing I'm going to do is just practice it a little bit faster and a little bit faster and a little bit faster. Do not go faster than what you can do comfortably without any mistakes. If you start practicing those mistakes then you start learning those mistakes. Going on to the third and fourth bars. Again, once I learn bars three and four, I have five and six and seven and eight. So I'll break down measure three, same, same idea. Move on to measure four, same idea. Put it back together then duplicate it twice. Now on to the fourth bar. Put both bars together with a rhythm. Once I have that down, then I'm just going to practice speeding it up and chunking it in larger and larger sections, bringing more and more measures together. First thing I'm going to go back though is do the first, second, third, and fourth bars all together because that has all the rhythm fragments that I need. Once I have 
have that, then I can start adding more and more chunks. Going on to the second part of this excerpt, I think it's important to note that during the syncopated line, you need to keep the full value of these notes so you can show the contrast between the staccato eighth notes coming up and then the final quarter note and eighth note are also full value. I'd be sure to practice these notes just as a scale downwards and then try to put it into the syncopated rhythm. So here's the second part of the excerpt. Since the beginning of this excerpt is marked at a forte dynamic and we have a crescendo near the end, at that middle point between the 16th notes and the syncopated rhythm, I'd reset my dynamic maybe down to a mezzo forte or maybe a little bit less because it is a higher register and it does speak very well. Just drop it down a little bit and reapply that crescendo to show that contrast between the two halves. Going on to the youthful harmonic excerpts, first up is Scheherazade. This is the first opening solo after the violin. The 112 tempo could be a little bit flexible, we can go a little bit slower, probably not much faster than that. The grace notes need to have value and not move through too quickly. And you also need to consider some contrast of multiple voices going on in this piece. I think one of the big ideas for this one, especially for a youth philharmonic audition, is to really demonstrate the contrast between the phrases and the phrase fragments, as well as some of the rhythmic and um, feelings that this excerpt can portray. This excerpt has two distinct parts at the very beginning, and then goes back and forth between smaller fragments, kind of creating a little um, conversation between the two. So the first fragment it's going to be a little bit more lyrical than the second fragment, and that's the first five bars versus the next five bars. And then after that, every two bars, it kind of flips back and forth between two different voices. And I would contrast that loud and soft. Going on to the next excerpt from Symphony Fantastique by Berlioz, Movement 4. This is a unison bassoon excerpt, actually. Uh, all four bassoons in the symphony play this part together with just a couple spots where they break up into octaves. This excerpt, the challenge is keeping a steady tempo the entire time, finding that 72 beats per minute and really staying there the whole time. There's a little bit of contrast within the music based on the barring that you can observe. I kind of try to highlight if a system is broken up, I want to bring out that next system just to show some contrast with the line. Obviously going into 53, there is a second melody, more melodic part with a little bit of an accompaniment part and then it goes right back into a melodic line. Excerpt number three, probably the one of the more difficult ones of the audition. This one's pretty challenging, mainly because of its register and the syncopated nature of this. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to demonstrate it, and then we'll go on from there. So what makes this excerpt so challenging? One has two halves, they're identical halves. It might be important to note that the first half is solo bassoon, the second half is 2T woodwinds. So I would actually play this a little bit differently within an orchestra than I would as an excerpt. Mainly because if I was gonna be doing this in an orchestra, I might take more time to take a breath before re-entering in the 2T part than I would here in an excerpt. So, 
instead of taking that time to take a breath and omitting some notes in their full orchestral setting, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a break in between the two halves, just so I can re uh, just so I can catch my breath and move forward. I think it's important here at the beginning that we need to make sure we have this piano to forte crescendo kind of highlight itself through the accented notes, those continuing accented A sharps, before we get into the syncopated kind of jumpy hoppy type thing. Best way to help out with this, if you are getting a lot of squeaks or a lot of not clear lower notes, something that sounds more like this, getting a lot of tension, what it sounds like tension or squeaks and things not speaking right, it's probably because you're adding tension. Best way to describe how to play this would be to think e ah, e ah, e ah between all these high and low notes to kind of facilitate the most resonance between them and to make sure you're not holding on to too much tension between these high registers. relaxing in between each one, e ah, e ah, e ah, e ah. It's subtle, it's not as drastic as what I'm externalizing right now, but it will help with the ease of this excerpt. A couple last things about this third excerpt. Don't ignore the articulations in the middle of the syncopated part, as well as don't be afraid to over-exaggerate the second time, especially with that piano to forte dynamic. Take that little bit of break in between and then really come back in at a piano dynamic. I hope you found this video helpful for your upcoming auditions. I believe those are due by May 18th via video recording. If you have any questions or comments about these excerpts or how to play them, please feel free to reach out to me or comment below. You can always follow me on Instagram at woodwindfox, also on Facebook, same thing, or you can contact me via email, woodwindfox at gmail.com. If you have any suggestions for further videos, whether it's around the Columbia area or just general woodwind stuff, just let me know down in the comments below.